I can't. I was going to do a dramatic like shot of my laptop and then um, talk in the vlog, but I'm currently uploading something. I can't really do that because I've stopped the upload, and I'm not fancying of re-uploading it again just for the fact of looking cool in a video. Hello, welcome back to the vlog. It's another video, as you can tell. Oh, just, oh, battery. This case is still open. Yeah. Huzzah. Charger. No stress. Yeah, I have got back from Edinburgh. That was great. If you've seen the videos on it, that was fantastic. And then I went to Leeds. I went to Leeds Festival. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Uh -huh, who forgot to vlog yesterday? This guy. Hello. Oh my lordy lord. Why isn't it? There we go. Hello. I was going to get something to go here. And a lot has, a lot has happened. Um, if you're wondering, yes, I'm currently editing a video. Can I be bothered to edit it? Probably not. That's why I'm doing this because it helps me separate my day. So I'm not just sitting in front of the screen. I'm sitting in front of the camera. What the fuck? So yeah, since the daily vlog has stopped, so obviously you saw me go to Edinburgh, then I've recently come back to York to go to Leeds Festival, which is what this video is about, and this is my experience at Leeds. A very detailed explanation of my time. So, uh, where do I start the story? This story starts Quite a long time ago, I don't know the exact date when the lineup was announced. So if you didn't know, Reading and Leeds are the exact same festival, but they just happen on different days. It's the same lineups, same people go into it, same stages, everything is just in two different places. Reading obviously being just outside London and Leeds being just outside Leeds or York. It's actually closer to York than Leeds, what I find really weird. But then again, York Festival doesn't really have the same ring to it. So if you really want to, you could do Reading on the Friday and then travel up to Leeds to do leads on the Saturday and see the exact same acts. It's really weird, I know. It's hard to get your head around it. Well, wait, well for me it did. I went, I booked my tickets with my buddy Joe. So we decided to just buy two days that we were looking forward to and that was the Friday and the Sunday. Originally on the Friday we had people like Queens of the Stone Age playing and Oliver Tree. And then on the Sunday was People like the Wombats, Two Door Similar Club, Post Malone, Disclosure, and a bunch of other amazing acts that we wanted to, to, to attend. Looking back at it now, I wish we did book weekend tickets on the resale, but obviously you can't guarantee you're gonna get them, depending on the year, and we thought this year, out of all the years, people are less likely to sell their tickets because of how crazy that is actually happening with, you know, COVID and whatnot. So, um, to kind of answer a big question, you know, as soon as possible was yes, Leeds was worth going to it and it was worth the money. I believe I got my money's worth. I mean, obviously the price went up due to travel costs, other money coming out in other places, but it was actually cheaper to do what we done. I know you get a very different experience camping and one day I would love to camp at a festival. So yeah, we booked our tickets and we we're looking forward to it. So we're coming to York and we have a house here. So myself and my buddy Joe, uh, we live in a house together and we have one here so we thought we would stay in the house we'll travel to leeds i'm looking up different ways to get there original uber it said it was going to be 20 pounds uh, to get to here to bremen park or oh, that's where leeds was taking place on the day that 20 pounds went up to 58 pounds travel costs it was going to take us so we thought that is far too much for travel we'll try and do something else so we got a seven pound coastliner bus that travels from scarborough all the way to leeds and it comes around every half an hour on, on Friday, that, and that cost seven pounds to get us outside Leeds. And we managed to see our first act, which was KSI on Friday. Our first act and our first festival experience was KSI. I'm not gonna give my opinions on the acts because I'm not really a music person. It is expensive. I would definitely say, realistically, if you're planning to spend the whole day there, set aside at least 20 pounds for food uh, as kind of a brief overview. A burger cost me £7.50 for the burger itself. Chips were £4.50. And then, uh, to make matters worse, we decided to do a bit of maths. It would cost £7.50 for a hot dog, but it would cost you £8.50 for sausage and chips. But if you wanted to get a hot dog with chips, it would come to £12, meaning that bun itself was gonna cost you £3.50. It makes no sense. But if you do do your research and you look around, you can find some decent deals. Yes, there is a co-op on site. Is it in a good location? No. And then also, if you want to get a drink, there's bars dotted around. I would say set aside at least half an hour to queue up for drinks. It does take you quite a long time. And when you do get there, you're gonna be spending an arm and a leg for a pint.
It comes around as six pounds for a pint of cider and beer, and then it's six pounds fifty if you want to get a shot and a mixer. So yeah, we spent quite a lot of money on that first day. Uh, it's safe to say. Obviously, one thing we didn't realise is that we bought alcohol beforehand and we dumped it before we got in the queue. What's a stupid idea because you can actually drink and take alcohol into Leeds. It's just before when you go into the actual festival itself uh, is when you have to chuck it away. So I'd say don't chuck away alcohol unless they tell you because there's certain places around the camp where you can actually drink before you go in if you want to drink. Obviously, it's fine if you don't want to. Some people just go for the music and that is completely fine. So yeah, uh, after that, we kind of dotted around ourselves around Leeds and we saw a few other acts. I'd suggest if you really want to see an artist, what we did at one stage on the Friday, go see the artist beforehand and work your way to the front. For instance, we wanted to see a great artist called Bacar. Uh, I'd definitely suggest checking them out. But before them was an artist called Holly Hamilton, who was actually really, really great. So we thought we'd go see them before, and then we can work our way to the front, because then when the crowds kind of clear out, you can work your way forward. There's also like the rave tents, where there's like DJs on doing sets all the time. We were more there for like the live music and whatnot. And there's also rides, as well as around all the different food places. Uh, it's not just for the music and the headliners themselves, there's so much other stuff going on. But yeah, after KSI, we saw a few other artists, such as um, Tom Grennan, who was great. Uh, Wolf Alice, who as well was fantastic, uh, like Bacar, who we thought was fantastic, and then at the end we decided to walk over and go see some of Liam Gallagher. We're about to see, um, how much? Four pounds. Four pounds for an ice cream. Ridiculous. Extortionate. We're about to go see Liam Gallagher. Kind of a thing we feel like we have to do, to be honest. He is here. Biffy Clyro is on behind us. Can't Biffy a Clyro. Uh, we didn't stay for the whole set of Liam Gallagher because we actually wanted to try and get home and we knew it would be really busy leaving. Because a main thing with Leeds is that when it comes to the headliner acts, quite a lot of people actually just go for the single of the day, especially if they're like Leeds or York residents, if they want to see a certain act. I mean, you know that Liam Gallagher was going to be really busy, so we thought we'd leave before the end just to try and get back uh, to make our train. I just had a McDonald's. I'm in Leeds. It's Leeds. It's a pretty bad station. Completed the D1 at Leeds. No, Leeds. Yeah, festival. The festival. It's been a long day. So on the way back, we decided to get the train, what was quite a smart idea, because Leeds actually run a shuttle bus that goes from Leeds Festival to Leeds Station. Um, and it takes around 45 minutes to go there and back, give or take. Obviously, that was, wasn't the case on our final day. What was a bit of a story, what I think deserves a bit of a story time by itself. A bus, shuttle bus ticket, costs £6.50, what's ridiculous. Um, I think it's silly that it costs that much. It's just that, I mean, so there's a festival, they're going to try and get money out of you anyway. But it's £12 return and you get it on the first bus app. Obviously, I don't know what it's like for Reading, I believe the station's a lot closer. But yeah, the shuttle bus is £12 return, what we've done on the Sunday. And the trains that actually only cost us £3. What was great from Leeds to York uh, was only three pounds, and they come around usually every half an hour. But obviously, I'd say definitely look at the trains before going to the station. So just make sure there's a train you're going to get. Because you don't really want to be waiting around Leeds at that time at the weekend. It can be a bit dodgy. If you're trying to get home and you're a bit tired, you don't want that whole experience. What we definitely had on Sunday. Um, so yeah, we got home probably around one o'clock in the morning at York, and we obviously come home the Saturday. Uh, we didn't do anything, we are kind of just recovering because it hurts your feet, it hurts your feet a lot. Definitely wear good shoes, it depends on the weather. It was fairly dry for the whole time, so trainers was fantastic, but I understand wellies and whatnot is suggested. In terms of stuff to bring, bring a bum bag or anything you can keep on you at all times to check. Obviously, you don't want to overpack yourself, they don't accept bags over the size of an A4 sheet of paper. A portable charger, definitely. A charging lead, some people forget it. Um, an asthma pump, because, you know, your boy has sick lungs, great lungs, great respiratory system. Um, my house key, can't forget that. I also had my pocket harmonica on it, because, you know, just in case Joe lost me in the crowd. So, on the Sunday, we decided to get the bus and train there. We got a return train ticket, 
and I got the return bus tickets. Um, also on the Sunday, we went with some other people that we knew. I went with my buddy Charlie and my buddy Hannah and Renea and a couple other people uh, that we knew was there. So we thought we'd go around with them because it was fun. And that is a great thing about Leeds. Us just keeping the numbers small. Uh, obviously, Joe and I have very similar music taste, so we went to everything together. Obviously, people aren't going to have the same music taste as us. That's completely fine. So we said, look, we're going to go watch this and we'll meet you afterwards. Or uh, we'll meet at the end or we'll meet up with you for this particular artist. And it really worked that way. It was so handy because it's very hard to get signal. That's another thing. Be aware that you're probably not going to have signal all the time, especially outside the artist. Uh, we just ended up chatting what was fine. Um, you know, it's quite good with other people because you can just talk to them and play games and whatnot. Also, having a limited amount of people is quite good because, well, you were less likely to get lost because it's just two of you. So, on the Sunday, we opened up seeing Easy Life. It was fantastic. I love Easy Life. They're a great band. Also, there's some secret sets that go on. So, download the Leeds app. Obviously, you get to see the full schedule of who's performing. But also, it notifies you when there's secret sets going on. So, the Sherlock's were performing on the Friday. Also, Yumi at 6 as well were doing a secret set. What was fantastic. So, we got to see a bit of them. Uh, then we saw Becky Hill. I did was not planning to see Becky Hill. Was it fantastic? Great. It was fa It was great. I'd definitely suggest being open-minded to some of the artists because if they're at Leeds, it's most likely to have a great song that you probably know. So if you hang around, you're probably going to enjoy it somehow. There was a lot of artists like that where we were like, oh, they do that song. Um, yeah, we saw Becky Hill. Then we got a pizza that I had to queue up for 30 minutes for. That cost me 11 quid. And then we went to go see Slow Tie. And I would say Slow Tie was quite dangerous. Great show. Don't get me wrong. Just very quiet. Scary. Um, I know some of my friends left because it was quite intense. Someone actually broke their knee watching Slow Tie when we were there. You know, you have to really be careful. Uh, people were quite brutal, especially if they had a bit to drink, and it could be really dangerous. So just watch yourself. If you're not feeling comfortable, leave. You can hear the music all the way from the back. And then we had the Wombats. Please, please. Good vibes all around, really, for the Wombats. Uh, nothing really bad happened. And then after that, we had to sprint over uh, to Two Door Cinema Club. That's another thing with Leeds. I suggest planning out your days and know what stages you're going to be on. So the Wombats finished at quarter past seven. Bloody Two Door Cinema Club were at the east stage uh, in five minutes' time at 20 past. So we had to run across to go see Two Door to get decent standing positions. We're going to leave you tonight with one more song. So yeah, after Two Door, we went to Disclosure, and Disclosure was very different to any of the other artists. Energy flows. Are you hearing me? Disclosure was more like a club and it was like dance techno music. It was great. Latch was fantastic. But likewise, it was a very different vibe. It was less mosh pitty and more dancey. And it was a bit, it was great. It was a great vibe. I'm still kind of thinking about it. It was like an out of body experience. Um, also, if you're at the front of the barriers, they're going to hand up water. But also, keep in mind, the toilets could be really far away. Having needed to go to the toilet and you're at the front of a set or you're in the middle of a set, it's the worst feeling ever. Go to the toilet. Don't be silly. And then after disclosure, we had Post Malone. And for Post Malone, we met up with all of our friends. <laughs> um, yeah, we had a great time. Uh, obviously, after, after a long day of being quite claustrophobic with everyone around you, during the festival, you're gonna want a bit of your own personal space. And it was nice, you know, with all my friends listening to the music, and it was a great time. But yeah, that's my experience at Leeds. Uh, I thought I'd just make a video because I wanted to talk about it. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't really want to do it in a daily, in a vlog type scenario. I thought sitting down and talking about my experience was probably a better, a bit more informative. So if you are thinking about going to Leeds, I'd definitely suggest doing it, Reading or Leeds, or pretty much any festival in general. I definitely suggest doing it. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity you're gonna have, and it's a great way to see all your artists for probably a bit cheaper than their normal concerts. You know, the headline has changed. Queens and Stone Age didn't end up performing. It was Biffy Clyro in the end. Biffy Clyro is on behind us. Can't Biffy or Clyro. Make sure you're not just going for one artist because they can just cancel and it does happen quite frequently. If you are kind of on the fence about it, 
really think about what you're gonna get out of it and is it gonna be worth the money because it's not just the ticket prices, it's everything else as well. Obviously, I'm not the most experienced when it comes to festivals. I have only been to one. Uh, I hope this has helped people if you're thinking about going to your first one. If you have got any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments or message me. So I hope you enjoyed the clips of me having fun. It was great. Get a Hawaiian shirt, have fun with your friends. It's something I'm gonna remember forever, pretty much. That's my video, thank you for watching. If you wanna stick around, make sure you subscribe. And check out my other videos. I do some much more casual stuff, and it's not just a sit-down thing. I kind of take my camera elsewhere. Always make films. Check out the films. That's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and I'll see you in future videos. It would be great if I knew where the lens cap was. And goodbye. You can't be the acquirer. Still don't know what their name means. I'm trying to figure out.